Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome back to another episode of Field Podcast. I'm your host as always, Alex Hill, alongside me, the inside of the insiders, <gasps> Tyler Keel. Hello, that's me. My name's Tyler. At least that's what my mom told me, and my dad, and my birth my certificate. Mo- my mom's told me. My mom's told, I don't know how that feels about this conversation. Okay, Squirrely Dan. We're just starting off strong here. <laughs> it's a long day. I know. <laughs> Uh, okay. Uh, Talking about things that are strong. Giants are strong. And we have our very first sponsor. Yes! Our official one. Well, more or less. More or less. More or less. Or less. More or less an official one. I mean, technically it was official money. We had, yes, we had we had a sponsor beforehand. But Baron now, Blade. But now we have one we can actually say on the show. Yes. Thank you so much to Seat Giant for doing our partnership with us. Yes. Using the promo code TKP on SeatGiant.com for you American listeners, which you'll get 3% off your purchase. And for all of you Canadians out there at SeatGiant.ca, 5% off. You got that extra 2% and, there to go and, watch those Growlers games, eh, boy? And, and yes, and a uh, big thing, too, Canadian on SeatGiant.ca. Uh, it's been it was kind of a recent thing. They finally have it in Canadian dollars, so you don't have to do that conversion because the conversion just the conversion dollar changes all the time. Nice. So, yes, go on Seat Giant. You get the best seats at the best prices. You get all the good stuff. They help you out. They have amazing deals. I'm thinking about when I go to Colorado, maybe look on Seat Giant to see what I, what they have uh, for the Denver game because I can watch I can watch the the Avs take on the Lightning. Mm-hmm. I can watch good Cole Harbor boy Nova Scotia. Oh God, Nathan McKinnon against good old Markham boy Steve Samkos. Yeah, good Canadian kids, good boys. Wait, no, it's, mm, it's a firm thumb. It's not like firm a, thumb, firm thumb, not the. Purr, it's a, mm. and once again for those of you that are listening, three percent off American orders, five percent off of Canadian orders at the promo code T K. See that? We're going to leave it up there for two more seconds. One, two. Get it out of there. All right. more than three seconds. I I, I elongated it. That's how you get the money. That's how you get paid, big shoots. That's how it happens. Just got a sender. Just got a sender. And talking about stuff that's getting sent. Oh, no. That's horrible for what we're doing. Austin Watson. Um, Oh, boy. So... I initially, if anyone follows, I initially put up a video, and it's recently taken off because, well, I, things I said. Um, so Austin Watson was charged for domestic assault back on uh, June, back this summer, over the summer, so June or July, I forget. Should have been forty games. Hold on, we're not, we're not going to get into that. <clears throat> it was twenty-seven games the NHL handed down. Bush League. The NHLPA sends it back. To 18 games. Nine games. Now. Because they have to. I understand. I understand this. The NHL, because they brought in an arbitrator, that's you defend the players. But that said, we're starting off strong here, guys. Alex like Giant. You you cannot. You can't actually think like. And should we actually go into the fact that Austin Watson's girlfriend has come out with a statement saying it was her, be, something with her not being being way out of it, being intoxicated. It was her fault. It wasn't his fault. He would never do this. Blah blah blah. I don't know what's going on here. Like, is, what evidence is there? Is this the evidence that brought him back nine games? Is the fact that his girlfriend said, "Oh, nothing actually happened." I've been in courtrooms, Alex, for these kind of things. Yeah. Not no, this, not by by the way. This was for government hours for high school. Yes, I mention, he, he was I a mention that he was a guest. Think that I've done something. He was a guest of the court. I've done things, but not that. He's uh, a, he was a guest of the court. But well, I mean, I've done the same thing. But needless to say, at this point, whatever was Austin Watson girl, uh, uh, Austin Watson's girlfriend said there we go. this late, like after everything that's gone down. Like this was four months ago. Four, I, three, I, or, three or four months ago. I, now everything that she says, by all means, I will accept her testimony and everything because you, I will. Because you have and, to, and especially you have in a situation. She is the. She's in, the one. That, she's in this, the, yes, she she's is. The, she would be the victim in this case right. of scenario. Anything that she says, by all means, I will believe. Now that being said, I don't give a damn what she says. I believe well, everything that, she says. Well, that's but, well. That's why Alex, I think that's why the angel PA saw that they saw. No, what, what the reason behind? Okay, I'm not defending us. I'm not defending. What 
happen. This whole thing is an absolute sham, and it should, this this is this is not good for the, the league. This is not good for the league. This is not okay. Good for the no, NHL actually, PA. scratch that. I will agree with you. The fact that Austin Watson's girlfriend came out and said that, that played uh, into the part of it. Into yes, the because, repealing of the suspension. Yes, the, because the it was the timing. You see it done in poli- politics. It's done. You see it's it in. Alex. I'm, I'm, I'm not getting into it. You see, you see it in politics. You see it in um, even in like the accounting world, like things that get put on yeah. the at the end of the agenda. Even, in inter- even entertainment, but yeah, stuff like that. Anything. It's timing. That's that is the reason why Austin Watson's girlfriend came out and said this stuff. Because, needless to say, that that's why it was brought down. I have a whole thing about what she said, how she said it, and I have my whole theories behind it. We're not going to talk about them on the air. No, absolutely not. That that's a conversation for me and you after the fact. Because we have Seat Giant now, we want to keep them here. Exactly. Um, Seat Giant, three percent off, five percent off, DKP. But I don't think anyone heard you. But anyways, um, no, I just I don't like, like we don't have any knowledge. That that's why I I really think for stuff like this, as sour the details could be, as, as sometimes there's maybe just T, TMI. I think this is something we as the public and we as I guess like the pre- the media, if you will. Well, we are the media. We should have an idea of what's going on here. Because guess what? If Austin's Watson girlfriend ever came out of this, NHLP is getting the finger pointed at him, and everything I said about him in that Twitter video is still kept in my high, my mind. It's a horrible look on the league. It's a horrible look on the Players Association. It's not a horrible look on the league. No, because it's, the league should be able. To, the league itself should be able to. I know they can't, but they should be able to step in and do something about it. They can't. That's what I'm saying. But the, for like something like this, this something like that. because if if the league stepped in and said. Uh, yeah, no, everything that your arbitrator Cause, said, Because no. I know, then the CBA gets in and all that other mumbo And then jumbo. lockout's I'm, already now, because of Austin Watson, because. doing something stupid, regardless of what happened. Exactly, that's why I'm like, sitting there, I'm like, because that's why I, I had to take it off, because this came out, and this is obviously, pro- this, like I said, what Austin Watson girlfriends came out and said, saying that- Girlfriend. What, what do you say, girl, a girlfriend? Girlfriend. You, you said girlfriend. I'd like to thank my girlfriend and my wife. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you remember that? <laughs> I remember that one. Um, anyways, but it's the fact that this came out, I don't say it changed my opinion on Austin Watson. It doesn't, it's something happened. Who's lying? Who's telling the truth? I don't know. We'll never know, unfortunately. I wish I was a fly in that wall in those arbitrator hearings. I would have loved to have known. The problem is... I mean, we, I, we, if you want to go right to the story, I'd rather be a fly on the wall when the incident happened. That well, way I could be like, oh, then, yes, I so know that's what happened. Because like I said, I've been in courts where, the, where the, the, like, the judge will read out, here's what you said in your testimony Correct. to the officer, toxicated or not, you said what happened. And then they go to the court and said, I did not say any of that. And that could be perjury for all we know, or that they were lying in the first place. I don't know. You're having... Two vastly different stories. You and what do you do? You just have to throw the case away. You have to. Obviously, you can't just completely throw away the suspension because that'd be a, that'd be an absolute. You you can't do that. So that's why they just repealed it a few games because well, if he really didn't do it, his girlfriend said he didn't do it. I guess he's innocent, but we have to keep the suspension for at least at least the off ice conduct of what had happened. That's right. why they kept it. For sure, because they repealed the whole thing. Well, yeah, there would be a dumpster fire. Well, needless Ottawa to... would go to the NHL office. That but... dumpster fire would be pushed there. I know. But, By a semi truck. But I do agree with you. This not carry just, another dumpster. Not necessarily on the league, but more of the on the PA. This just looks horrible for them. And <clears throat> because they should have, t- if they had talked to Austin Watson's girlfriend first, they would have been like, "Oh, nothing happened. Well, we can't really suspend you then, if that's the case. If nothing happened, however, the testimony that was made initially, the testimony that was made when the suspension happened, was still the same as it was in the summertime. They were the same." And all of a sudden, the suspension happens, and then you come out with it. Little shady here, just a little bit, I think. It, I think, I agree. And and you know, people with you know more opinion than I do have said, going back to a player like Tom Wilson who got twenty games. Why is someone completely different scenarios? But yes, keep go ahead. Okay. Regardless of just continue what we're saying. I didn't mean to stop go, you. My bad. So going back to testimony if we're going based off of the current sentence and original test testimony austin austin watson 
screwed up and did something horrible. Chicken you know what. Chicken you know what. Starts with an S, ends with a T. Ends with what Tom Wilson did to Oscar Grant. Yep. Get 17 games for that. No, and 20, then, 27, uh, 27 games. No, no, no. no. Okay, 27 games to start. Remember, that was the initial one. No, no, I'm talking about current sentence. What he's currently... Sent, what he's currently sentenced no, that's to. That's why I'm saying, like, those initial ones, 27. I know, but... But then it got revealed I'm, after. I'm so. going off of initial testimony and current sentence. Okay, so, so I'll, less, I'll follow. So, so less than 20. I'm following. Then Tom Wilson, on the ice, to someone who has a helmet, to someone who has pads, I see where to this, someone but... who, in more ways than one, signed a contract to play a contact sport Yes, he did something You're, that was chicken, starts with an S, ends with a T, but still gets more games than somebody that did you're, you're something compar- You're comparing apples and, to celery, Alex. Be careful here. I, 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 try, I see what you're trying to say. I'm, just, I'm comparing a hit to a hit. Well, we don't know now, Alex. That's, I don't. I know, but I'm... I'm, I'm listen, original listen. testimony versus what I saw on the ice. Listen. Well, okay, that you, the you, earliest information I know versus the earliest you, information I know. This is, well, this is why I was hesitant to bring this up. Because you have to be careful. You cannot compare. You cannot. Tom Wilson's out of the question. You cannot compare that. This is a completely different scenario. I'm this just, is an I'm off-ice compar- incident between a man and a woman in a, in a domestic dispute, apparently. And what had happened was initially testimony was obviously thrown out the window after Austin Watson's girlfriend came out. I'm just comparing that's the why it's That's why I have issues with this. Was because someone changed their story somewhere in the middle of this. And that's mm-hmm. what I have a problem with. Exactly. That's, that's why I, there's so much problems. Well, that's I, a problem I have too. I'm just saying the, the, that. Listen, no, you. Can, this Tom is, Wilson should not be given more games than the initial, Austin Watson. You, you, you I, I mm, Alex, you're doing this to me. Don't do this. Not okay. Right now. Okay. Fine. You, you have. To I'll understand. let it go. You have. I to said what I said, and I meant it. That's I, my story, and I'm sticking to it. I don't. I don't agree with that because that's the. That is comparing. You can't. You, Ooh. You, you, Ooh. Alex, we'll talk about this later, you and I. I don't want to put an explicit sign on this. Ooh. No. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> that's my problem. And the, my problem is the fact that something changed and nobody's going to know about it and no one's going to tell about it. And we're just going to just let this go and not talk about it anymore. That's my problem. Moving on, please. Joke, joke's on you. Tom Wilson didn't actually hit him. The guy did a dive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, yes got him moving moving along please. moving on for, let's for the move the sake of the show let's move on to something where someone got hurt and it's uh evident stasny is out for two months with a uh, lower body injury tyler you want to fill us in on this one so this just happened just the other day um it was kind of a i was just reported yesterday and I, it didn't sound like anything came from the game um he can miss two months with lower body. It kind of just, like I said, came out of the blue. No one really said anything. Um, I don't think anything happened to him, or what happened to him. I, it, like I said, well, the same thing with the JVR injury a couple weeks back. We we aren't sure what, like when he got hit, when he got hurt, when did he block a shot? I'm um, like, there's there's nothing really right now, but all I'm saying is everyone's saying he's gonna miss two months. Which obviously means it's not as bad as it could be, but it's pretty bad. That's what I'm getting out of this. Um, suffered lower body injury earlier this season against the Sabres. So I get, well, oh, right, excuse me. I'm thinking of a different injury. That's my fault. Paul Stasny had missed a couple games before he got injured against Sabres. Uh, that, that Monday, that, <coughs> the, the Columbus Day game. I remember this now. He gets injured. They said missed a couple games, and now it's even worse. So obviously it's two months. Doesn't sound like any surgery is happening, but because then again, we don't know what it is. Because we all know with the NHL and injuries, they're going to be as vague as humanly possible until surgery happens. So until I think right now they're just yeah. waiting two months, they're just maybe waiting for it to natural or heal naturally. So obviously, uh, can't they're hoping, get, hoping for the best. Really, it's it's got to be a it's got to be a muscle then. It's got to be a muscle strain or something. It could be, you know, the a, a bone, a fractured bone, as we're going to talk about a guy who did this in a minute. It takes a lot longer. Right. That's why I'm thinking only two months, and they're not going to go to surgery. It's got to be a muscle issue. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking he, hips, groin, whatever. I, I'm thinking, <clears throat> TB. I almost said TBH. To be honest with you, I think it actually might I gonna, be. I, would, I have to come over this table. <laughs> I think it might have been something on his um, outer to back thigh, <clears throat> whatever muscles right there, because 
<coughs> Excuse me. God, I'm ter- terrible right now. Yes, you are. Needless, to- <laughs> yes, you are. needless to say, I for him it's going to be physical therapy. You know, making sure to rest it well, that kind of thing. And then with a with with a muscle kind of thing like that, it's not going to be two months of recovery and then extra time to get back on the ice. It's going to be two months of recovery with the back half of that two months being him getting back on the ice. That's well, that's why they're going to have to literally go straight almost like, all right, two months. All right. I, and here's the thing. It's not like a goaltender or a third line, fourth line player. He ain't going to go down to like Chicago and play a game. No, he's going to just no. sit there and he's going to go right into it. Well, yeah, because that's the way the game works. It's, it's weird because you always see goaltenders will get minor league starts or whatever. Well, one thing I would look at is, <clears throat> if, if I remember correctly, Paul Stasny is a very, very powerful member of their power play. He's going to be playing five-on-five five hockey. He's not going to be playing power play. Well, he's going to have to be, because I'll be honest, unless Vegas turns it around. Well, no. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, it's something we're, I don't know if we're going to talk about. I don't know if we're going to jump the gun on yet, but I th- Vegas ain't looking too hot. I think you just got to give him time just like... You give other team, teams time. Just let them, let them do their thing. Are we going to give Edmonton st- time? Nope, you're right. Because <laughs> you're right, Alex. No. I, and here's the thing. Like, this was a guy that was brought in to make this team better. I know, but Vegas but still has pieces, though. They still have pieces. And does it really matter right now? It doesn't. Well, here, the, and the worst thing that could happen is Paul Stasny is replaced 100% while he's out. And then when he comes back initially... They're going to cycle the power play. I'm going to look It'll up be, left wing lock to see what they're... Uh, are they playing tonight or are they playing tomorrow? Uh, I believe they're playing tomorrow. I could check the schedule. I just want to look and see what the uh, line combos are. Let's, I just want to go to Vegas here. Oh, never mind. They're playing tonight uh, in Vegas at 10 p.m. versus Buffalo. Versus Buffalo. And uh, then their next game... Because they had a morning skate today, so let's look at their lines right now. Uh, Carlson Smith, March So, Kerry Belmare, Ryan Reeves, Carpenter, Eakin, Nosek, okay. And their, I, their next game is until Saturday, which is also in Vegas at 10. So plenty of time to get some rest, get those lines practicing. Uh, I mean, sorry, who do they have again tonight? I'm so sorry. Oh, Buffalo so, at 10 p.m. in... Again? Wow, that's... Well, that's 10, 10 p.m. Eastern in... Well, so that's a, that's a quick... They have, they played, because they, like I said, they played Buffalo on Columbus Day. Well, yeah. Or, um... <clears throat> yeah. Uh, well, they still get on Canadian Thanksgiving. Well, they still they still get a pretty good uh, break because they're playing tonight, and then their well, next, doesn't matter. Their next gonna, game is until going, fr- uh, not Friday, Saturday. This team that's supposed to get even better than they were last year is just kind of sitting there right now. Like they aren't hot, dude. They aren't. And well, like not said, everybody's like, hot. And like, yeah, you're right. The, the 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 only there's only I think maybe three teams that are over six games played. Actually, no. Hold on. I know it's I so think, early. I think it's, it's actually two. It's Detroit and Toronto. Yeah, that have yeah. been over seven games. And I think Ottawa and ones Edmonton's playing their third game right now. But then again, that was with the whole travel and stuff like that. Needless to say, we're still early in the season, and I'm. I don't want to talk about who's out of it necessarily until probably the end of November, because that's when you start seeing. That's why. Okay, I, that's, that's when why, the pack that's why, separates. That's why when Dangle put up the LFR today and said the Leafs are in first place, I'm like, come on. I don't check the stains until look, look, Amer- Tampa, I don't check them until dude, December. Dude, look at where Tampa is in the standings. They're way down there. Ooh, and like I said, they're like going, in seventh. That's why I'm saying, wow, way down of a 31 league seventh. That's still a place. Okay, for Tampa. Like I said, I'm not checking until th- American Thanksgiving. I don't check the stains until then. I no, no, no. But yeah, needless to say, it's kind of like so, a horse race. That's when the but the way you can wa- see how the team plays in Vegas just does not look as crisp and clean as they were last year. They're, they don't look as hungry. Is that is that a good word to say right now? They don't look as hungry as they were last year. They came they don't out, have as much pressure. They uh, well, I think they have a little more. Pre- they, they have they have more. I think they have expectations now. The same thing happened. They have expectations. They have expectations, post-season. and they don't have and they don't have the chip on the shoulder. They don't have that year of like, all right, we got to prove ourselves. They just prove themselves. They made it sound like a finals. Yeah. But now everyone's taking them seriously. And are, is, are they setting up right now? This is, this is a question everyone's asking. Nobody's asking right now. Is Vegas setting up to be what they were supposed to be last year? I don't want to put any money in that pot, Ty. I'm just throwing that one out there. Is Vegas... No, this I don't know. What they were like, 
remember how bad we all said they were going to be, Alex. Are they what they are now, what they were supposed to be? I don't believe that one bit. Well, give her time. Don't, I'm not going to shoot them in the foot right now. Right. But I'm just saying, just be. let's keep the look out here and, and Seattle may be a little more hesitant. Well, well, Seattle's still going to go for it. I mean, right. I, I, I hope they go for it. Well, but I'm well, just saying they're not going to be like, oh, so that happened after the first year. So Seattle's gotta, not going to look at whatever Vegas is doing because. Well, they look at that first year and think, cha-ching, no. $650 million back in one minute. Okay, that's one thing. But, but kind of going off the idea. We thought we were going to write off hundred grand. We made 500 grand. Well, let's, let's keep moving on, kind of going off of the idea of, uh, of waiting things out. Good old Justin Schultz is out four months uh, with a good old fracture in his well, lower uh, left leg. Good old fracture. Now, this was tweeted out by the Pittsburgh Penguins official page, uh, Justin Schultz, and this was done uh, just yesterday at 11.36 a.m. Justin Schultz underwent successful surgery at UPMC Presbyterian to repair a fracture of his lower left leg on Sunday. Schultz, is, ex- gonna, Schultz heard- is expected to miss the next four months. And I heard six months initially. That's why I was like, oh, boy. Well, uh, he. this is also going off of um, – this is actually a really good place. It's uh, SB Nation, Pensburg. Okay. Because I, I just – they do – they say things in the words that make sense, you know. Because right. some, sometimes reporters, they try to get too fancy with their lingo and, eh, not about it. But – so playing in Montreal or whatever, he was seen leaving the contest with a boot on his left leg and on crutches. Uh, the initial thought was a fracture in, or multiple fractures in his left leg and only ended up being one. So that might be why you thought it was – or they why they initially thought six months because they thought it was a multiple fracture situation, but it was only one single fracture. And obviously he is currently set – to be out for only four months. I don't think I can play Actually, it. scratch that. The the, the uh, wording being, well, from Pittsburgh, the official page, to miss the next four months. I, cause I but the from, I was gonna but to... from everywhere else, it's at least four months. I'm going to find, I have the link to the video. I don't think I can play it because I'm recording off my laptop. So right. um, I'm going to put it in the description down below, the, the video of it happening. Yeah, way down there for all the uh, people that are watching yep, on down YouTube. Down below here. Um, this is huge because let's be honest here, people. Justin Schultz is a solid defenseman. He is a guy. And here's another thing. He's a guy they need. He's they're a, not going to replace him in the lineup. Well, they're going to move him up from Wilkes-Barre. Well, but, yeah, they're pulling somebody up from Wilkes-Barre, but they're not. This is coming straight from the bench of the Pittsburgh Penguins. He's not. They're not going to shift lines around. All they're going to do is, okay, one guy's out. We're just going to fill his spot with somebody new. Right. Well, that's what, I mean. From not, the AHL. But they're, well, the, but they're, they're not the, even bringing somebody up from the second line or anything. No, well, no, 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 the, no. Okay, no, they're going to do that. They're not going to, let's see. No, let's, they're not. Do you want to know? Okay, you want to know how they go, Alex, right now? Here's the pairings of Morning Skate today because they're playing right now. Dumoulin and Latang, Johnson and Ol- Oleksiak, Mata and Yuso Ricola just called up. From Ricola. There you go. Former Grand Rapids great first ballot. The unofficial Hammer. sponsor of my broadcasting quiz, by God. <laughs> Sometimes first ballot AHL Hall of Famer. <laughs> um but like Do I said, as you see, H-O like Oleksiak oh, Schultz goes up, Oleksiak moves up, Ricola comes in, just fills in, he'll play with Olimata. That's a solid guy to get your first couple of games of the season with, I think. Ricola um, and Mata. Hey, Ricola Matas. You know what I'm saying? That sounds like a drink. That doesn't it sound like a drink to you? The um, the matcha, matcha the matcha, or Well, there's the, um, the retola matcha. What's what? And you serve that with a mint and an umbrella. Oh, well, what? Where it's uh, it's not matcha. It's it's like that weird tea. Matcha. Something. Where's Kelly when we need her? She's the tea expert <laughs> around here. I I like tea. I'm not an expert about it. I like. I'll talk to you about coffee. Oh. I like tea that I uh, put in the bag, put a little honey in it, mix around, let it steep, and uh, okay, I drink it. That's good. Do Taste. a little bit, a little bit, a little bit of Duncan, a little, little Duncan Keith. You know what I'm saying? Oh no, no! <laughs> oh my D1K, god! D1K, baby, D1K. 
I oh I can't believe they actually did that. That's almost what's what's worse. They're making what's t-shirts. Worse? What's did well, you see that tweet? No, I don't. Are they, are they making shirts for it? For the game, yes. I think if I remember the tweet correctly or whatever, it was like the first um, one thousand people because it's one k. Uh, I forgot where I saw the tweet, but it was like a no, picture. No, I don't think they have. Uh, no, was it, it from an independent source? It it was a joke or whatever. I I don't think they are. No, but that but that'd they, be funny. But though. they ha- I see the because think about it. The first one thousand people that come into the arena get a D one K shirt because Duncan Keith one thousand games. games. One thousand people wearing D one K shirts and you know what that spells? Seat D1K. giant. Seat giant. Three percent for the United States listeners oh. and five percent for oh. your Canadian listeners. Why? Because now we're kind of monetized. Sort of. Um, I gotta figure out actually how to do that through something. But anyways, no. Um, long story short, Schultz is out. Schultz is out. Ricola Matas. Ricola Matas. That's, that, that's, that's gotta be a drink. <laughs> Nothing about my alcohol. That's a t-shirt. <laughs> um, well, hey, Justin Schultz up four months. This kid can make a name for himself. As we've seen him, some guys, you know, Pittsburgh not, Penguins. I, I, th- I will sell you my idea. Copyright. Sound it so, right now. So you're telling me Ricola, has Ricola like, Matas. He has put up like three, like thirty points in these four months. You have to, you understand that, right? The, or from you to get this shirt. No, well, it's it's third pairing defense. So that's what I'm saying. 30 forty points. points combined. Like I said, no, thirty points from Ricola. Nah. You want to know why? Forty points combined. If your lineup's feeling a little hoarse, oh god, send in Ricola to save the day. Re- hey, you did it. You said it first. Ricola Thank you. Matis. Ricola Matis. Oh Ricola. What if it's really just a mojito with a cough drop in it? You know, that reminds me. <laughs> what? Nope. nope. There we go. Oh, you have some Ricolas too? I got some Ricolas. Sugar free. That, what's, the, what's the point? They were cheaper. Oh, man. We actually, there's less stuff. Um, I, I, Pittsburgh will be. Fi- I think they'll be fine. They'll be fine. Those They're st- gonna smoke people. That's They're what's gonna still happen. gonna win. And you know, it's funny when we talked with Ked off the morning skate about the Metro. He wasn't excited. Pittsburgh's still a contender, and he wasn't excited about Washington. Washington still looks like a contender, despite the Leafs they bailed out last month Saturday night. Let's be honest. They've they've come out. I think trying to prove everyone that they're not a one hit wonder. You see, it's. I mean, don't get me wrong. Like I said, it's an 82 game season, but they they've they played Pittsburgh. They played a tough game against Pittsburgh. They went in and they smoked a bunch. Of, they smoked Boston. They, they aren't done yet. That's what I'm trying to say. They aren't gonna go and say, "Oh, we won our cup. This is it." Now, like right. I said, second half of the season, who knows? Right. But, but they but they aren't gonna. They're not just gonna peel over because they have the one ring. In the words of Joe Rogan. He likes they're, big they're, what? He likes big what? We're not getting to this. He likes big. How do you know? How do you know? <laughs> I know what I know, bro. I know when it's time. <laughs> it's time. Uh, we can't say that. That's copyrighted, dude. Well, it's been real hey, for, see, for, for Tyler. Hey, hey see, Giant. It's been help. a great show. Uh, we're going to call our new show the uh, the Not So Cool Hockey Podcast. The Not So Cool Podcast? The Not So Hockey Cool Podcast. Go to see Giant. Use promo code... <laughs> NSTKP. <laughs> NSTKP. Um, but yeah, Pittsburgh will be fine, but I just think losing him for four months. Oh, bro- a broken Washington. leg is something yes. you can't get rid of. Oh, yes, Washington. Sorry. There's a back half of the season, and Ovechkin's not getting any old or younger. I don't know. Well, yeah, he probably aged a few more years after uh, after well, this summer, the summer of Ovechkin. Because literally, if you're looking at all the goals that he got the latter half He's of the season. He's firing all cylinders, though, right now, Alex. He's cherry-picking. Okay. That's it. That's what he's been doing forever. Exactly. Have you not noticed this? It's been his game plan. He sits there, he waits, and then somehow people forget that. Oh, look. Hey, there's a guy swinging off the outside. Ah, oh, I can't cover him. Puck's over here. Oh, wait. Puck's by me. He literally does Oh, that's the... Ovechkin one-timer scores. He does the... Every single time. He does the Hogan thing, but he's going to be quicker than... The... Oh, he's, he's a lot. He does the quick... Hogan. He does the quick He does the Hogan, Hogan thing where he sits there and winds the first lap. Here's the problem. It's like... 20 times the speed of Jeff Hogan. Yeah, Ovechkin. I feel like we need to find a Jeff Hogan highlight reel just so we can show fans what the <laughs> heck we're talking about when we say Jeff Hogan. Alexander Ovechkin's like, Mah! at the same time, oh Jeff gosh, Hogan's yeah. like, Alex, there's an idea for a shirt. 
What? Hulk Hogan one tees. <laughs> Hogan, Hogan one, one tees. <laughs> hey. And then we're gonna bring him on. He's like, "Why the hell are you guys talking about me? I'm fucking tired." Hey, I might have a, I might have a new segment for the show. By the way, I'm gonna have to make sure. Walking with that Walker. Out. Walking with Walker. He does fantasy hockey, so he does like fantasy rankings for like hockey. The stuff the that NHL. I'm not really that into, but continue onward. No, I'm just. It's an idea. I'll bounce it off your head, like a ball. Or you could bounce it off my head like you did with the baseball bat when I was a toddler. She didn't stand in there. I was stuck in a chair. I couldn't move. It was that little walker thing. Alex, that saucer walker thing. You walked right behind me. She didn't stand there, Alex. Lars Eller chirped a bit. Swing at him. Nope, he didn't miss on that one, kids. That one is long gone into the emergency room. Lars <laughs> Eller was chirping like a bird. Yeah, speaking of Washington. So, if and you guys bird, remember. And birds and chirping. And- uh, Toronto beat. The NHL Cup champions in Washington on Saturday night. Spoked. They came from behind. Austin Matthews is a Maple Leaf. That's all I had to say that. Oh, I was, I was looking at you before the other thing you said. But uh, Come from behind? Really? <laughs> um, so, they played. I don't want to say they dominated. Because don't forget. Okay. They we, did I, not. I, wa- I watched the highlights back, and we kind of watched the game at the bar. They, it was a, it was an even game. Freddie played great. It was a game of catch up. Hope he played great. I think it was a really good game. It was kind. Of, it reminded me sort of the. Wait, the, did uh, you say Hope play, Hope he played great? Despite the no, no this, despite the four goals. Let's be honest. He, the defense looked. I'll give. I'll give the defense credit I, for that game. He made a few big saves though to keep the Leafs off the board oh. at some points. Washington the, defense looked superb. It, it looked like Washington in game four and five. Of the series they played against Toronto back in 07, or 07, 17, 2017. Washington was not taking the Leafs lightly, no. but the Leafs were being able to hang in there. Except this time the Leafs won. <laughs> I'm like, games four and five, man, six of that series. Um, but I was impressed by the Leafs. They looked really good. And then they played last night and looked really good again against an LA team that, well, I, I don't know about this LA team. They're a playoff team, but that's about it. Who? Oh, last night against LA. <laughs> I mean, they, yeah, they. I know they walked him up and down pretty good. <laughs> but anyways, long story short, after the Sparks wa- held him to one goal. <laughs> <laughs> here's what. Here's what I'm gonna say about this. Everyone Capital said, P, five to fifteen Fs, depending on how well you they do it. And a T. LA <laughs> outshot the Leafs. <laughs> well, here's what I say. People say McIlhenny over Sparks. Sparks is just McIlhenny, but like six inches taller. <laughs> I uh, big to differ. No, he looked pretty. He looks pretty. He's like, imagine. There's a reason why the Carolina hurricane. Imagine me, but six foot four. Okay. And longer hair and from Chicago. Hey, there's a reason why the new Carolina running into the backboards kind of thing is kind of getting old to watch videos of it. Because McElhaney. It's because McElhaney <laughs> is standing on his head. He's winning games and he's getting in there. He's like, yeah. <laughs> As far as Peter Mrazek, former yeah. Detroit Red Wings, is yeah. like, he doesn't even hit the boards. He just skates down there. Yay. They hit the boards. I didn't. Because Mrazek's, well, I have my things about Peter Mrazek. Uh, back to Washington on Saturday. Lars, ah, yes. uh, Lars Eller decided to uh, uh, throw a little shade on the, on, the, on the defeat of his team, despite the Leafs actually playing pretty well against the Caps. Alex, what did he say? Quote, it's not that special. To be honest, it's a good team, like a lot of others. They'll probably be a playoff team, I would think. You think? End quote. You think? You thought. Be gone, thought. Lars Eller, you just won the Stanley Cup. You're from... Uh, Can we stop with just won the Stanley Cup? They won the Stanley Cup last season. You won the Stanley Cup last season, okay. Thank you. Do you remember losing twice last season to the Toronto Maple Leafs? Do you remember... Finishing behind the Toronto Maple Leafs in the regular season. In the regular season standings. Yes, you won. Congratulations. I'm not going to take that anything with me. You earned it. You worked it. You beat Tampa. You you survived Columbus. As you Barely. survived. And you beat Pittsburgh. Without Marc-Andre Fleury. See what I did there? Because Marc-Andre Fleury beat Washington the year before. Yeah. Um, we're, we're, we're aware. <laughs> I'm just saying, 
I, don't get me wrong. I like it. I like the smack talk because like it's kind of this this youth movement going through the NHL, which is kind of interesting. Makes it kind of fun. But really, this is why I don't. This is why I didn't tweet last night. Like um, Drew Doughty getting you know his jock dangle. Okay, I did, but I wasn't gonna tweet at him just in case he made like a big play to cost Leafs the game because I didn't want that coming back to me. No, you're, you're, say- you're just hoping that. His, uh... Someone mentioned, hey, did you see this tweet from this one guy? Somebody's telling you, did you find your uh, jock his, strap his, up in... Uh, his three- comedian doppelganger doesn't go after you, Chris D'Elia. Oh, yeah, whatever that guy. No. Um, he goes in Long on Richard, people, Lars, I... Like a playoff team, you think? The prop... I probably be a playoff team? <sighs> this team has made the playoffs the last two years. Yes. I give them credit for the chirp. It was a... It was a you it was, would, hey, you know it what? It was solid. It was straightforward. Tra- and you know tra- what? You're trying to humble this team. Good. I'm glad. We need it. Please. Gosh almighty. We, I, I, I'm, trying, I'm trying to keep my... I'm trying to stay low myself. But you got to be realistic, dude. This team should... The Leafs should easily be in the playoffs. My God. What is I'm saying that? But it's not that special. Because they said, he said like, oh, we just played Malkin and Crosby, who are in their prime. And then you play Austin Matthews with Kasperi Kapanen in Patrick Marlowe. Marlowe just scored last night, so obviously he didn't want to score. But, and then you have the... T- I, I'm just saying, you shouldn't be throwing shade after a defeat like that. You're trying to belittle a team that just whipped you up and down the ice. It's... I, I was talking to, <clears throat> coincidentally, Walker about this, about this quote, because you put it on there. Yep. Yeah. And he was like... It's like when you're working with your personal trainer and you're doing squats and just when you get the weights up or whatever, he adds another weight onto it and tells you to go down. And you can't do it? Yeah. And well, you know, I mean, th- I mean, this is only a little bit more. I could probably do it if I really wanted to, but, you know, I don't feel I'm, like doing it right now. And talking about, like, because tr- Toronto has a chip on their shoulder. They have a few chips. It's like every time someone does a chirp All on, dress chips? No Pringles. Because for the, for the sake of the reference, of the imagery. Because they stack nicely. Oh, okay. Every time that someone gives a chirp like this, it's adding like a single Pringle chip onto the shoulder. So they had they already had a, a solid stack at the beginning of the season with having Tavares, Matthews, whatever, other things. Remember they say don't poke the bear? Don't rip the leaf. That's Don't bad. rip the leaf, Alex. No, that's a bit fruit of the loomis for my taste, bud. Don't rip the leaf. No. Needless you know what's going to happen? You're going to have some bland pancakes there, sugar tits. <laughs> can you believe I just said that? That's fine. I can say, we can leave that, but I can't believe I said that. It's okay. Let's go back to something that's... Okay, <laughs> so Nazem Kadri responded saying... Quote, oh, Nazem... Yeah, okay. Sorry. Quote, I do not... Or, excuse me. No, quote, okay. I don't know... How he can be serious with that comment, but I understand they're coming off hanging a banner, end quote. Requote, but you know, you've got to give teams respect that have earned it, and I certainly think we have earned that, end quote. I still can't believe you freaking said that. (laughs) Thank you. Sugar tits. All right, fine. If we can say tits on the show, let's just say tits. Can we not keep Tits, that? tits, 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 tits. Titties. <laughs> man, titties. Back to what we're trying to talk about here. You know who's got man titties? Lars Elvis, man, titties. <laughs> Nazem Kadri came up with the perfect response. And of all the people I think at least roster right now, Nazem Kadri would be perfect for this. Yeah. Because Solid Austin tip. Matthews will... Austin Matthews will... Remember the thing everyone's making the gifts about or whatever? Tits. <laughs> <laughs> you started this. I didn't mean to. All right. Anyways, with Naz's response, because like Austin Matthews, I remember when he said, "Like, have you had a have you really ever fi- had a moment in your career where the pucks found you like this?" And he straight up says, "Yes." Like that's pretty pretty gangster of him. But Naz is perfect for this because that's just who Naz is. Naz will just say whatever <laughs> the heck he wants at this point because he now he knows he doesn't have Lou. Sitting there with a gun to his head saying, you say that one more time there, Sippy. Anyways, um, as Alex is Snapchatting over here. 
I've got a girl to talk to, okay? This is serious business. Anyways, Naz is perfect for this because it's pretty much saying, well, you know, hey, you did, you like, is what I just said. You did a good job, but we beat you. Accept it. That's pretty much what Naz said. But, you know, you get tired, you're long-winded at the end of a game, you're just kind of just rambling on it. Sometimes you keep it short and sweet. Um, I, I'm, you know, if the... If the Leafs were in the Metro, this would be a, this would be an interesting rivalry. No, I hold on, Alex. I after that series and after and you get you get something said to one another, a little bit of uh, uh, a little bit of like fist cuffs, like a little bit of head. But you're you're taking. Oh, so you say that there's fights that belong in hockey, fist I, cuffs. I never. Donnie Brook. I never said that. I never Old said time fighting, hockey. I never said fighting was taken out of the game, Alex. Wild hockey all day. <laughs> I never said hockey should be ta- or fights should be taken out of hockey. What I'm saying is that you're just adding. Lars started. If Lars hadn't said anything, we wouldn't be talking about it. Obviously, that said, you can take hockey out of the fight, but you can't take fight out of the hockey. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I agree with you. Why are you smirking at me like that? Keep talking. Keep talking. Keep talking. I mean, there's really not much more to say about it. I, I just think that um, next time they don't play till November, and it's going to be interesting. I'm going to like it. Yep. I, I think we play, I think we're back to playing, I think it's this year, there's two games in Toronto. Will you stop it? <laughs> um, I think there's, it's this year, it's two times in Toronto, because last year was two times in Washington, if I'm not mistaken, including the uh, the outdoor game. How many outdoor, there's like two outdoor games here, this right? Something like that. I have to look. Oh, right, because they have the Chicago Boston. Oh, yeah, that classic matchup. Not even in Illinois. Well, it's no, I like Northern Massachusetts and Notre Dame. So, well, they're, okay, Notre Dame. It's in Indiana, but the, the Chicago fans are there. Indiana people cheer for the Bears, the Cubs, the White Sox, whatever. They cheer for the Chicago fans. They cheer for the Chicago teams. Mm-hmm. Alex, I know people from Indiana. Yes, they do. I also, no, I also know people from Indiana, and they sure love the Blue Jackets. The, yes, because they're on that side of Indiana. <laughs> they're on the east side of Indiana. I mean, there's there's the pace. Or actually, there's a few people that cheer for the Bears, and people that mainly cheer for the Colts. It's very few, like Michigan City, Indiana, like the kind of Chicago fans too. That's why Grand Rapids is kind of a few Chicago fans because it's close enough to Chicago. Oh no, Indiana is Colts country, dude. If there if there's a Bears fan that lives in Indi- in in the state of Indiana, Junior, Junior. I know we just went over between a good classic movie like Indiana Jones: Last Crusade to Billy Madison, Billy Madison. Um, but where are we going with this? Oh yeah, Colts Country and. This makes no sense because it's not in Illinois, nor is it in Massachusetts. I th- well, it's a classic venue. You weren't going to have anyone else play there. So? I think That's not my fault. I think it'll be interesting. I if met, if I, anything, have Sunbelt teams play there. Why? Because it makes more sense than that for them to play in somewhere where it'd be colder than down in freaking Los Angeles. I'm glad they're not doing those anymore. I'm glad they got that out of the way. I'm like, all right, we played our games in California. That's it, because Florida, you can't do it. It's too... It's oh, what's the name? Five or six? Brian. Brian, five or six. All right, boys. I'm currently leaving Ottawa, Canada. I'm moving to San Jose. Hey. My uh, captain went there. Our listenership from San Jose. Shout out to the Bay Area. Mountain View, San Jose, San Francisco. Thank you. Um, should I stop now? Yes, you should okay. stop. Okay. Alex is snapping his fingers, by the way. Just so everyone know. Um, Send it. Yeah, so. I'm, I'm curious to see how this goes with the Leafs and Caps. Two very good teams, and you have a little bit of drawing back and forth that could lead to uh, a Wednesday night rivalry. Okay, I'm, I'm actually doing my kid. They're done with that. I'm so glad they're done with that. <laughs> Wednesday night rivalry, the joke, but now they're doing Wednesday night hockey because they realized we, they ran out of rivalry so fast. NBC, Alex. Remember what the thing we bashed with that we have only five more lessons away? By the way, we should celebrate something, Alex. Alex. Dang, we, I, I was waiting for my saliva to drip down. No one would see it. 
We are over, a th we have over, as of yesterday, over a thousand listens on our episodes. Thank you very much, everybody, for listening to us, or at least clicking on our links a thousand times. <laughs> I'll take it. Um, yeah, yesterday, uh, tw this will be our 24th episode. We have 23 episodes with over, almost 1,100 listens. Actually, it's a horrible mm. average, I know, but for us, for, for pretty much starting since the new year. I, I mean, the past three episodes have been way over 60. No, oh, yeah, they've been pretty in. I, I, pretty yeah. impressive. Pretty, pretty impressive. We're still impressive. only five away, though, from hitting 100 with NBC. The NBC Hundo. episode. And I think the Batman ones are second. Our second biggest. Sorry, hey. I'm just hooking up my laptop here. Um, but yeah, so. Commercial? Uh, yes. Uh, we're going to. We have this weird commercial that Tyler recorded by himself because <laughs> we have a like, commercial break. We need a commercial instead of just me saying the <laughs> the offer code and stuff at the beginning and the end. So here's here's Tyler's five minutes of fame, starting right now. Hey guys, Tyler here. I love going to games, but buying tickets at the box office sometimes can just be too expensive for me. That's why I use Seat Giant when I want to go to a game. They'll show me the best seats that are available and at better prices than some of the other sites. You can also use Seat Giant for other events like concerts, theater, and more. If you want an even better deal, use the promo code TKP and you'll get 3% off all of American orders on SeatGiant.com and 5% off Canadian orders on SeatGiant.ca. Remember, the promo code is TKP and make Seat Giant your destination to get the best seats at the best prices. And we're back! Yes, we are. From that commercial, I'm going to be glad. We're going to have like... Hi, glad. I'm Alex Keel, host of the Keel Podcast. How are you doing there, Bob? Yeah. Um, I'm going to San Jose where the captain went. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to do like... We're going to have like a video one. Anyways, um, hey, you know what's funny about Seat Giant, Alex? Their dum, logo has got blue dum, in it. Dum, 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 and so do... The St. Louis Blues, who are about as solemn as the Blues right now. About as solemn as the Blues that Alex is singing in the background. The St. Louis Blues are like a very off 4-4 four, four key. They're just 1-2-2 two, and two right now. They're just not on par right now. However, their goals against average is 4 which is close enough for me. So if, even though Jazz is a uh, 16th time. So that makes this 4 over 4 time actually confusing. Do you have anything to add there, Alex? You just kept switching time signatures, so I kept working. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, the Blues are 1, 2, and 2 right now, Alex. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta keep me going. All right. Um, they don't play tonight, do they? Alex, you said keep going. I said I'm joking. Um, you know it's not a joke. St. Louis. No, they're well right now. Hot take. What's your problem? Well, you're supposed to be better than this. Well, that in my eyes, you you were talking before the show, Alex. Don't you try to save face here. You were all oh, I told you they're gonna be bad. Ah, there's sarcasm here. Let me go on. St. Louis, the Blues. You're supposed to be better than this. Got your gown between the pipes. The red pipes, not the ECHL pipes. None of this Geico BS, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Even though even though I have no hey, I, have, I have no quarry with Geico. It's advertising, Alex. That it is. It's a beautiful thing. You know how nice it is? Anyways, continue. You're supposed to be better than this. You're supposed to play good. You're supposed to be better than last year. Well, it's, I'm looking at the... But! Okay. Stasny left for a reason. He got traded. <laughs> he got traded to Winnipeg. That he did. <laughs> he left for a reason. Because he got traded, Alex. But! <laughs> There's a reason why he's in Vegas. Because he signed for more money than, Ve than Winnipeg would have offered him. And more money than St. Louis would offer him. I don't think St. Louis even tried. As far as I know, from what I've heard, they... they well, they should have. Because well, you suck. <laughs> well, uh, they wouldn't be able to afford him, Alex, with Ryan O'Reilly. Who's what's that? Uh, that would have been, um, Doug, Ar right. Doug, Doug Armstrong, Doug St. Armstrong, Louis. Doug Armstrong, sorry, I'm like, the name of the general manager, uh, let's see, they lost to Winnipeg opening night 5-1, okay, what are you gonna do? 
They lose to Chicago 5-4 to Barnburg. Okay. They beat Calgary, who's... <laughs> uh, then they lose to Chicago in overtime, and then they play back-to-back, -back, lost two overtime games, Chicago and Anaheim. And Anaheim, despite being right now first in the Pacific, is, not too, is really not that impressive. I think they only have their two wins come from St. Louis and Arizona. Jake Allen is just not looking good. No. Well, okay. Here's Jake Allen for you. He'll get one of two goaltenders on any given night. You will get the goaltender that we're seeing right now, who I'm going to look at his stats right here. He is right now a 4.13 goals against average, 878 save percentage. That is garbage. That's Coast League standards. I'm you sorry. Were, you were going to say something else there right there. No, garbage. I was going with garbage. I was just elongating it. Anyways, um, I saw. <laughs> they were, the, he's shocking. There you go. There you go. There we go. There's an SH word we can say. Yeah. There's an I in there too. Um, or you're going to get the Jake Allen that just straight up steals the series from underneath Minnesota. Okay. Right now, and this was the gamble that St. Louis, St. Louis was not going to be able to sign Jake Allen and Carter Hutton. They know that. That's the problem with all teams that have a good backup is that they know they're not going to be able to sustain both of them. With that said, Jake Allen needs to step it up. Like, I don't know what's going on. It's a mental game this go with goaltenders. It's, he had this, remember last year when he got sent, uh, or a couple years ago when he got sent home, just straight up sent home because he just wasn't playing well. He was not mentally there. He had to be better. And the thing was about it was the fact that it just wasn't, he just needed to get better. And he started to play better, and then he ended up doing the whole series against Minnesota, where he just straight up stole a series. Now, right now, he's not playing well. And their backup's Chad Johnson, who has been historically a pretty decent backup. But... He hasn't really, I mean, like I said, it's really early in the season for him. He's only played in one game. He hasn't really had much to do. People, oh, geez, my phone's blowing up. Um, something's got, this was team was supposed to be better. They got Ryan O'Reilly. They got Tyler Bozak. This team was just supposed to be, on paper, a better team. Yeah, you got Bozer. What's wrong with you? You got Boz Lightyear to the rescue. He ain't rescue he, you he now. Just, he, he just scored uh, the other day. Um... His first goal, because oh yeah, because he got a girl. Now. Somebody, somebody, get that guy some goalie pads. Yeah. Bet you could save way better. Did you see the photo of? Because you know how in Toronto he'd always have his son in the corner with his now wife, and they'd be staring at. Him. He'd do the uh -huh. stick hand look at him. Well, he's got the girl now too, and it's both of them looking at their daddy, and it's it's it's, it's all adorable. That that must be confusing for Bozer. who's like, because because hockey hockey players they have the routine. So he does stick handle, looks at his son, gives him the smirk. Goes back to stick and then, handling. And then the dad, he goes, ah! And, it's, uh, and then he goes back and he spurks at him one more time, and then he goes and does the thing. So now Bozer has to do is he has to stick handle, look at his son, give him a smirk, stick handle, look at his daughter, no, give her a no, smirk. No, the daughter's still next to him. You don't have to look on the other side. Okay, fine. He still has got, he's, he's got to change it up, man. Well, I guess. Yeah. the reason why he's he has got to change it up. You want to know why? Because his, now his wife had to sit in a seat in the corner and it doesn't have that opening, the Zamboni opening like there was before. St. Louis figured out. Um, it's early, like I said. They could be better, but it's uh, it's, it's not a good start. Just, you're having like a blue said, ball at the beginning of the season. Come on, Blues. You're Let's right. Go. They need to. They need. They need to. Nope, nope. Don't say it. I know what you're saying. Just don't say it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave they it. need to get with it. There you go. I, that's <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, just gonna send it. Anyway, so um. Yeah, St. Louis will be. I think they'll get better, but Jake. It starts with Jake Allen. Jake Allen needs to be a better goaltender. Yeah, that's the long and the short of it. Former World Junior goaltender Jake Allen, the one that got pulled for Martin Jones, who allowed a goal stick short side on. Is it John Carlson? Yes, John Carlson. Mm -hmm. Now that was a crazy final. That whole turn. Shall we move on? Saskatoon. This should go back there for the World Juniors. Shall we move on? Let's be one of my special shows. World Shall Juniors. we move on? I think we should, Alex. Okay. So, in the words of Travis Green, uh, another player. That not well, another hockey entity that should get off is Mike Matheson off the ice. Well, um, I know what you're going to say, Alex. I'm going to just explain what happened. So Mike Matheson decides to be the rock and rock bottom Elias Pettersson to the ice. Put the smell! What the rock just slammed on the ice. Okay. And to grab the other mic, you just completely blew the speakers out of everyone listening thanks to that. You're welcome. Okay, nope, you're going to break the mic soon. Something, anyways. anyway, so long story short. Matheson kind of gets at Pedersen, and like I said, Elias Pedersen, he's a young player, he's a star in this league, he's going to be targeted now. That said, Pedersen gets put up against the boards, and he gets held there, he gets his feet taken off the ice, 
and then Matheson drives him into the ice. I know what you're going to say. Well, no, I'll, I'll we'll play the Travis Green bit. Well, first. let's. Well, I want to hear your. Well, or do you want to do the uh, John right, Shannon's? Or, 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 you want to well, do John we'll Shannon's play, bit? We'll play the clips and then we'll have the reaction to it. Okay, so right do now, you want to do Matheson or Shannon then Green or Green then Shannon? Uh, Green's first. Uh, Travis okay. Green had this to say. Uh, make sure your mic's right on the speaker. Yep, right I got it. Um, and make sure your volume's all the way up. No. Travis Green had this to say. I think it was in practice the next day about Pedersen. This was right after he was announced that he has a concussion and he could miss either uh, two games or longer. We don't know yet. But, of course, that's how concussions work. We never know how bad it's going to be. And you got it? Yep, Travis Green. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm really upset. I still am. Uh, you know, we lost a bright young player to an injury that I don't think um, was necessary. You know, uh, I'm pissed off right now still talking about it. And yet, composure is part of coaching and it's part of playing. Um, As far as I know with Canucks fans, and I understand it, uh, the reaction after the hit, uh, I will say that I didn't know what happened. And none of the players on the ice knew, none of the players on the bench knew what happened. And, you know, in the game of hockey, there are... There are times when there's reactions to hits and two guys occasionally fight. Fighting's legal in the NHL. And that wasn't the case on that play. No one knew what happened. I still was trying to get it on my iPad to see what happened. And Got to get it on my iPad. Gotta we get my scored the next bro. shift to take the lead. Uh, and our team wins a hockey game and plays I, to I win think down that, the I think stretch. That's about, I think yeah. it's about it there for that. So before we go to John Chan, <clears throat> and I know what you're going to say. He said, yes, there would have been a fight. And I w- agree. Hold on. Before you get all this, oh, fighting. No. Yes, fighting is okay. Okay. And that was one of the things you talked about, Alex, that I'm okay with players standing up for their team. But you always say that there should be enforcers in this league. That's There different. should be. There's a difference. But they, they have, Alex, they have your favorite player, Jay Beagle, on the lineup. They have... Oh, great! There's someone else. Um, Antoine Roussel's out. Um, but yes, they have Beagle. They have guys lined up that can do it. The problem is, like he said, nobody saw it. It was a behind the plate. He gets put in the boards, and then... You know what? I bet there's one player that did see it, and it was Jay Beagle. You want to know why? There's only one re- relation between... Actually, no, scratch that. Two relations now. Jay Beagle has the dogs. One, his last name, and the fact that he is starts with a B, ends with an H. Well, he's not. He's a male, so that's impossible. Ah, uh, he acts like one. But any, but as ever, he's being met. Because, like I said, now you're losing one of your best players, best young talents right now in the game, and I think we should move on to John Shannon here. Because I know, because we're. I, I don't want to be that guy though. But did you look at Peterson when he got up? He was, he, he, he was he was bumbling stump. <laughs> well, you want because he got a conky, Alex. He should have got dropped on the back. He's like you saw his head snap when he got hit. I know. When he dro- I, I, I'm not. I'm not trying to be like that guy or anything. But he just said that. Oh dang it! He didn't have. He didn't. <laughs> I have, can't he, get up. He didn't have the Sammy Kapanen legs, but it was. He cool. needs a life alert. I have fallen and I can't get up. And he was. He was. Hey, he. That's one thing about players. You ever? I've always seen is that no matter what, concussed. Broken leg or something, they will do their best to get back to the uh, back yeah. to the bench. So let's take let's hit, listen to John Shannon's take. John on this. Shannon, at this was ho- on Hockey Central at noon uh, on Sportsnet. This was on had it been yesterday. It was on. It was on yesterday. It was yesterday. Yep. So they were talking about the hit pretty much, and John Shannon was there. And continue. Go ahead, Alex. Yeah. Well, uh, first of all, and I, it, it is a tough one because I think we have to turn I, up a little I, bit I, for the last thirty six hours. I have pulled more than a dozen people about whether this was a classic hockey play, whether it was crossing the line, uh, how visibly hurt Pedersen was, what should that take a factor in this. Here's the one thing I would say is the National Hockey League is having a hearing for Mike Matheson today because Elias Pedersen is a star. That's why, and so any, any Vancouver Canuck fan who sits out there and says we never get any respect, you know what? The Vancouver Canucks and Pedersen are getting respect because he's a star, and they're trying to protect the stars. The original check was legal. The original check was fair. I shudder to think if it ever gets taken out of the game. The question becomes, is the, the extra push by Matheson 
to his shoulder, in my mind, um, and pushes Pedersen down and concusses Pedersen, creating an injury. What do you, what do you describe that? Does that is that a, is that a, uh, intent to injure? H how is that exam? And I think I do think the league is really having a tough argument with this. I think there's a lot of people in 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 both offices in Toronto, New York, that that are wrestling with this and will argue with this. This will be a bigger conversation after the hearing today internally I agree with than that. it will be in the hearing. 100% agree with so that. This is, so then that becomes the question of how do we manage and how do we protect Pedersen. It's not Mike Matheson's fault that this great player is 170 pounds. That now, last part. Listen, I, John Shannon, well-respected journalist, here's the problem. That's he's less been, than me. He's, he's, he keeps getting platforms to say stupid stuff like that. That's, how is that stupid? You're saying, oh, because he, if you're telling me, so you're telling me if he was 200 pounds, it'd be different? Yes, because it's physics. Well, yeah, if, so Patterson no, was, if Patterson was three, 30 pounds so you're heavier. Saying, so you're saying if 30, he was 30 pounds heavier, Matheson wouldn't try to pile drive him into the ice? Yes, he would. Why? Because, he, boom, and since you can't keep him up against the boards because that's a holding call, you try to put him down or at least no. push him or whatever. No. If he was heavier, there's less that Matheson could do. Right, but doesn't give him the right to just toss him around. Now, we talked about it's this like a, It's like when you see... Uh, now, we talked about this yesterday, Alex. Wait, wait well, well, going back to the the history with, between Boston Bruins and Montreal Canadiens, right? Okay, you, okay. Little Gallagher, right? Sedan Char, right? Big, big guy versus small guy, right? If Sedano Char checks Gallagher, and it's a clean check, and but it just so happens that Sedano Chara has taken him off the ice, let him go. Oh, so, so even if it's a clean hit, and, and it if and he the, falls naturally, yes. When you drive him into the ice like that, with Mas with Matheson did. I'm saying, was it clean? This link will be no. down below. Was it clean? No. Absolutely was it legal? Not. Yes. No. no, that should have yes. been. Yes, you know. For a fact, that should have been at least a roughing call. You know this. Because, oh, it, it should have been. There was a ref right there. He could have called and it. And here's the problem. The refs, and we've gone over this, Alex. Refs are inconsistent. They're as consistent as the San Andreas Fault in 1989 during the World Series. The whole, the whole ground shaking. We don't know. It's ref's call. It was legal. Ref didn't even go to I don't think the ref hand. even saw it. It looked like he turned. He was his head. right there. He was in the corner. Alex, I've seen so many refs miss calls that are right in front of him. It's just, it's a thing, okay? Needless to say, saying, all I'm saying, okay, this is my, this is my part. Turn that mic off. I already did. You did okay. This is my part. He should not get suspended. Yes, he fined. Absolutely, no, absolutely. Alex, Fine him. He caused an injury. Oh, do it you think he really a, meant to cause an injury? Absolutely not. But he meant to drop him and meant to drive him into the ice. Well, no, duh. But you and you can't do that, Alex. This is not this is not 1994. You can't just straight up drive people in the ice. Okay, but if you it's a different game. Okay, Matheson, he initiates to do harm into the board to Peterson cleanly. No, I'm talking I'm talking just just Pedersen. the slam. It's Peterson. Fine, Peterson. Matheson goes to inflict force on Peterson with the slam. Right? Why? What's the point? Okay. What's the good that's, reason? That's to take him out. You're right. To take him out. You can't tell me I'm wrong. To take him out of the play, not to take him out of the game. Well, shoot. You then in that case, take him out of the play. Hit him. You see his feet are up. Let him fall. He's on the ice. There you go. Move on. Deeper moving. No. What does he has to do? He has to take him. And I don't care about Johnson. Oh, it looked like his shoulder. That's not the problem. The problem is he took his fist into his chest and went wham. That's oh, he, he did. didn't do fist. You know that he whatever he he, he took open he, hand, pushed him down. He, That's all it really unnecessary was. Unnecessary play is what I'm saying, Alex. It was not needed. It was unnecessary, and that's why he's suspended. And that's, that's why Pedersen stupid, is though. concussed right now. So what? If Pedersen falls naturally, maybe it's not as bad. But the fact that he was driven with more force than he would with gravity. I'm telling you right now, at from the height that Pedersen was and the weight that Pedersen was. Even if he fell to the Maybe, ice, but then it's he a, then still it, would get a but concussion. But then it's a fine play. If Matheson doesn't drive him into the ice or doesn't make the motion to do that, Alex, 
You know, oh, I would agree with you. He wouldn't get suspended then. He wouldn't even get fined because that's a clean check and accident how he fell on the ice. But the fact that he made the motion and made he would the still get drive, suspended. You want to no, know why? Wouldn't. Because no, it was no, after something he just did. Because his check lifted was, Pedersen off the ice, that, and no, therefore the check, that the cause the of check, him falling no, is Matheson's fault. The check was fine. He hit him in the boards. His feet rode up. That's how. That's momentum. That's fine. It's the fact that he made an extra move to drive him into the ice. If I he lets, think that's fine. Lets him, if he lets him fall, of course, because Alex, you still have it in your brain that it's 2004, and you can do no, that. No, I don't and then have you can it. Hook and grab down the way down the ice. You can't do that anymore. No, else. I don't. I don't have. Stop I, putting both words into my mouth okay i'm no. not about this 2004 hook and grab bs no i'm not about that i'm saying what matheson did was basically finish his check you, you yes but you don't he was drive him in he was a like four checking player that was finishing his check and taking someone out of the play you can do that you can hit him in the boards you do not drive someone in the ice deliberately like that that's a that's a penalty that's a roughing penalty. That's a suspension. That's okay, why. then give him a roughing penalty. You don't need to give him a dang suspension. Yes, you do. That's BS. You do not need to give him a suspension. Well, I agree with the NHL on this one. For once, suspension actually agrees. I with don't him. agree with it. Could, I think Matheson... Could, could he have gotten... Yes, and here's the thing. He could have gotten more, but I'm okay with two games because he's a first-time offender. Could have gotten more. Whatever. First-time offender, never has done anything like this, has kept his nose clean, and you know why he did... He was did fine for an embellishment last year. He okay. He was fine for embellishment. So he's not totally clean, but in terms of this, in terms of in terms like of this, stuff like this, com nose completely clean. That's why he clean. gets two games. That's why he gets two because it was unnecessary. And you know why play. He, th he did that? Is because he thought I've played like this before and I've not gotten at. He's a and young he's player. Done he's stuff a young like player, out. He's done he stuff like it. this. He's, he's finished only, his checks. It's only like his second or third, second year with the Panthers. He's been playing pro for I think only three or four years. He's 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 grown up in this game, this evolution of the game of where it's speed. With physicality, within reason, he's grown up in this model that we that are we're experiencing now today. It's not like he's from. Then the that's olden the day. fall of the NHL then of not adequately teaching these guys. That's why they're suspending him, so they know you can't, hey, you can't do this. Okay, you can't. Okay, I'm gonna go back to something that's very fundamental in actual education, public school education, in particular. Which was, kids which do is not totally worth it. Kids. Well, yeah, of course. Public education is very worth it. Yes. I mean, it's it's you're gonna learn social skills, but some it's way better than private institutions. That's for dang sure. Needless to say, kids do not learn based on discipline. Discipline is good, but they do not learn. If they want Mike Matheson to learn from this experience, you do not need to suspend yes, him. Yes, you do. You do not need to fine him. You don't need to discipline him. What are you supposed what to? What you need hey, to do, Mike? Is can you not do that again? Can you not do that again? Okay, fine. But no, yes, what you need to do is, is explain to him. Oh, explain to him. Yes, if you do this, you're going to get the guy. Matheson did not try to hurt this guy. I know that for a... Well, not for a fact, but... You're 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 sure that he didn't try I'm to hurt him. I'm darn sure I'm that he did. I'm just saying, but there was... It could... Like I said, the check, I'm okay with. If he let him go, I'd be okay with it. It's the fact that he made the extra move to drive him into the ice. That's my problem. Because guess what, Alex? I thought it was clean. I, I, you, I know, you and I have two different things and what is clean and what's not clean. That, that is fair. Like we said, half of that play I'm okay with, bottom half, I'm not okay with. That's why he's suspended. That's why I agree that he should be suspended. And I'm okay with two games. Some people are saying it should be four or five games. Because let's be honest. Those people are how long could be Petters? How long could Pedersen be out? A long time. Because concussions, like... I, Accidents talking, happen. Accidents happen. Okay, an accident would be if you let him drop. Bam! Body slamming on the ice. That's not an accident. Okay. That's on purpose. That's deliberate. That's almost like saying the hit on Eichel last year where he did not get hit in the head at all and he just dropped to the ice and got a concussion from the impact that he had on the ice where he fell by himself, by the that's way. That's fine. The guy, no, the it guy. was an accident. That's fine. Because he didn't get hit Accidents in the head. happen. That's okay. You know what? Still got fined for it. Who did? What's his name? On the head from Eichel. He got fined like, I think it was like $500 or something like that. I don't know what the heck you're talking about. You, you, mean, you mean a couple years ago when Liney got hit? No, I thought it was Eichel. B Winnipeg and Buffalo, Eichel got hit, or Liney got hit. I remember that. Yeah. Didn't he get fined $500 no, for he, that? No, he just got a penalty, I think. He wasn't spending. Maybe It I was a clean check, but needless to say. 
I think no. I think, I think he got may have may have gotten a fine because his feet left the ice on the hit, and he fell back. Yes, that was the problem. But that was an accident. How he fell. It was an if accident. If Pedersen had fallen, got a concussion, that was an accident. If Matheson Met- pile drove P- Pedersen or whatever, if, Ma- if that's Ma- that's one thing. If like Ma- if you saw him going all the way down and throwing him all the way down to the ice instead of just pushing him down and then Pedersen falling the rest of the way. If Matheson does not make a movement after he puts him into the boards, the NHL doesn't suspend him. They don't find him. It's an accident. Pedersen's out. If, but since Matheson did the extra move, he, he made it look like he was trying to shove him down the ice, the NHL says that's a no-no, and that's how you teach players discipline. You don't just tell them what to do. You, you what teach it, players discipline. No, well, you, you discipline what, them. No, no, you, no, you're expected to teach them. You're just like, oh, Matheson, don't do it again. Oh, yeah, I won't do it again, guys. No problem. Psh. You take money away from him, you take time away from him, playing time, you take games away from him, guess what? Yeah, give him no, a warning. Listen. Give him a warning. No, that's not a warning worthy, Alex. That's a suspension. You don't need it. If you tell someone to do something, if they do a no-no, like we're going to talk about in the next segment, there's a lot of no-nos there. <laughs> Just go with me on this. If, there's, if someone does a no-no, you warn them. And you educate them on what they did wrong and why you don't appreciate that. And explain. So, and if so you, then you're you to explain to the rest of the league that since a guy's got a concussion, you're going to let this guy walk for free. You're no. not You're not letting him walk for free. He has to take like a class or a course or something like that. Okay. And then you explain to Mike. You say, Mike, now, you didn't no, get a penalty on the play. You, you didn't get a penalty on the play. We're giving oh, you just, a, we're so giving just, you a warning. Just because he doesn't get a penalty, it's okay. The, I'm talking about explaining the situation. That's why they're doing it. That's why they suspended him. They're explaining. This him isn't why. a warning. This is a suspension. This is money coming out and of his pocket. They're explaining why they suspended him. They had to have told him. Okay. It was an it was a hearing. All right, let's just do the next segment. Goalie pads, no nos. Going on to that, Jimmy Howard, all red pads, no no. They look ugly. They look fine. They're... They look like a teenage girl that wore white pants to, you know, school, did the school play, and something bad happened. Except for the white pants were her pads. But it's get it. Pads. I don't understand. Well, I don't understand why. That that was a that was a, a menstrual cycle. I'm job. leaving it. I'm leaving it. Uh, his ice pad, his ice old iceberg pads were better. Um, what, the white and then red bottoms? Yeah. Oh, yeah, those were iconic. Uh, yeah, the Vaughn had a specific model made for them. Um, I'm okay with them because, you know what, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm, I was always against wearing dark colored pads or regular, except for white because I, I liked white pads because they were simple and you could wear them wherever the heck you wanted to play. Um, but since he's in Detroit, I like it because it's with the model and I liked uh, when Crawford did his thing with the black pads and I like Howard's red pads. I'm okay with it. Um, the all red pads? Yeah, the, with the white stripes he's got right now, the white little trim, I like it. Oh, no. I like no, no, him no. so much more. Um, I think I think it's way too dark. Well, he needs something else. He can't keep wearing the same that'd, stuff that'd all the time. Be like, that'd However, be like, it's showing all of his holes. That's why he's getting beat like a red mule. That'd be like Freddie wearing the same kind of pad, but in Toronto blue. Yeah, like Felix Potvin used to do. No, that's ugly. Hey, of course, then that was back then where you couldn't really do white pads except for our primary survey. colors should be used for accents. Uh, primary well, colors depends should be... on where you're at. Depends on where you're at, I think. Because I think with Jimmy, it works because it's red. It's I okay. Don't think so, I don't especially know, especially for... when they wear the white jersey too, like the red is all red bottom. Yeah, and and it, when it was the red jersey, it's just it. Ugh. And then Mark Andre Fleury's no better. Mark Andre Fleury's gold pads. Uh, what even? Well, because he brought back the yellows one in his last year with Pittsburgh, which I thought was cool, just because those were the ones he had awkwardly when he was in like in, in juniors. You see, but those aren't pri- those are secondary color pads. No, the yellow was no. Well, I guess, but they were bright yellow and they were awkward looking. No, then he wore them for the outdoor game, which was. Horrifying. Well, I mean, but now he's wearing these gold about. ones that are just like, "What are you doing, Mark? Is, so is, he, is he trying to get better? Like, is he think he's gonna make him play better? If that's the case, sure, why not? Go for it. He's he's got that Vegas state of mind. You gotta have that bling bling. 
that bling bling. Got that bling bling. It's an ugly bling bling. Bling bling. I don't. I don't like it. No, like bling bling gets you a bang bang. How about that? Bling bling gets you pucks and four goals against the average, which we're at right now, or three and a half. Or I don't know what the heck. Yeah, you have fun cleaning those pads because they're gold. I expect those things to be clean, pristine every, every game. No puck marks. Well, they do. I, well, that's what trainers are for. Alex. Talking about puck marks and pads that will not show. Craig Anderson of the Ottawa Senators. Whoa. Craig Anderson. <laughs> Craig. Someone took Craig Anderson, put him in a time machine, and forgot to tell him. But came back to the pat or came back to the future because those are the pads of the Ottawa third sweaters that you like to wear. Oh hell yeah! Those are those are the colored pads. Of what they do? Those are the yeah. Those are the ones they have. Like, Didn't Jonas Hiller have all black pads? He had the black with like the white knees. But no, he's got the black. But like Mark, Craig, he's got the black with the the goldish reddish trim. Like I said, <sighs> it would have matched the sweaters of those days. The like the oh five oh six ones. I'm telling you, um, but they do not work nowadays. And then there's Roberto Luongo. Oh, d- what? Where are you at, son? That's not. There's. There has never been in the history of the Florida Panthers blue with gold. There never has been. Uh, no, there never has been. It's uh, always been blue with red. There's never been gold. Well, gold is their tr- like the territory color. The the panther head third. Yeah, they've always had gold in their jersey, but it's not like heavy enough to be a pad. To be a pad color, what gold? It'd be like if it'd be like if Neil Little back in the day wore red pads with the Griffs, because there's that one red stripe on the old Griff sweaters when they had the blue and the green. Because I remember Pokey Reddick used to wear green, which was okay. Well, yeah, and Ian well, Gordon that would still blue. make sense. But if like if he had red, like yeah, like, no, like solid red, is what I'm trying to say. Well, a that would look disgusting because well, you should like never have longest. a solid colored pad unless it's white. You never and, watched any goaltenders back in the day, did you? <laughs> no. Because they were all colorful. Well, Except yeah. for Archer Zerbe. But his were colorful because they were all black with puck marks. Because he wore the same patch for like 40 years. If it's, then not again, bro- if it's not broken, why fix it? Uh, they weren't broken. They were just... They were they, broke in. They were broke in, yes. Um, but you know, those, there's some interesting goalie pads out there. I'm... Uh, I, and I love how... Remember what Freddie did with the Centennial Classic where he wore the Curtis Joseph ones? Those are interesting. Like, he, has, he had them, like, graphicked on there. I wonder if that's going to be a new thing they're going to try nowadays. More graphics on there? Yeah, I they could do doubt it. it. But anyways. Oh, it's late. I think we should, yeah, wrap it up. Yep. Uh, now. Where, where we go? Just to remind you folks at home. If we haven't heard the first 20 times we talked about it, or the commercial. Seat Giant is a good oh, friend crap, of ours. Oh, Charlie Horse. Oh crap, Charlie Horse. And you you grab deserve my leg. grab my leg. Nope. Hold my leg. Nope. Hold my... Seat giant Hold my... with a Charlie Horse. promo code. Oh gosh. TKP. This is painful. That is okay. TKP. The acronym for the Keel Podcast is the promo code for anyone in the United oh. States. You can use that to get 3% off your American orders at uh, seatgiant.com. And for all of you Canadian listeners, you can also get Five percent off any Canadian orders at SeatGiant.ca. That is one more time promo code DKP on SeatGiant. Three percent off for American orders at SeatGiant.com oh, okay. and five percent off Canadian orders at SeatGiant.ca. Oh boy, that was tender. That was for the guy that just seems to have a very poorly timed Charlie horse, Tyler Keel. I am your host, as always, Alex Keel. We will see you next time. Bye.